is a universal language that connects us all. My next guest knows that as well as anyone. He's an elementary and middle school music teacher in Tolleson, Arizona. Traditional Mexican folk music has helped him connect with his students, which has also helped them connect better with their families. And that's what makes this teacher today's best in class. I love you, Jesse. Y'all, please welcome Efrain Casillas. Thank you. <laughs> meet Billy Ray and Tiffany, Hi. everybody. Hi. Um, nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. So you say, Mr. Casillas, that music is key in every aspect of your life. How do you how do you think that? Yes, it is. I first of all, I was born in Puerto Rico, and when I was a little kid, uh, my parents used to take me to church, and I used to sit around the musicians and be mesmerized. I was I was that kid that was really hyperactive and nobody wanted to deal with me. But when music was playing, I was sitting there just looking at the musician and I was the air drummer and the guitar rocking it. And it just doing, brings and, you to life. Yeah. And, and doing everything. And by the age of uh, 11, uh, the pastor in the church decided he wanted to do a marching band and I always loved the brass instrument. And my parents during that time, I didn't have a job or anything, so I went and I started selling newspaper. And at that point, somebody was selling a trombone, and I started selling newspaper to buy that trombone. That's and, amazing. Yeah. You really appreciated it, though, I bet. <laughs> yes, I did. Well, tell me about your students. <laughs> My student. Well, I teach in a regular day uh, from students from fourth grade through eighth grade. I teach general music for all of the students in fourth grade, and then fifth, sixth, seven, and eight is uh, instrumental music and concert band, and then I do general music, uh, guitar, and piano. Wow. And before school, we do the mariachi. We have about 120 students in the mariachi program. Wow. Yes, uh, and those are from second grade all the way to eighth grade. And after school, <laughs> we have Monday and Thursday, we have jazz band and Latin jazz band where the students learn to play regular swing uh, jazz and they learn to play cumbia, salsa, merengue, uh, a little bit of everything. And You are very dedicated. That, That's a lot of time, my man. My mom was a teacher. That's <laughs> a lot of time before and after school. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow. So how did you come up with the idea of your program, especially with the mariachi? Like, that's not a normal thing you usually get in a school, the music <laughs> program. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they didn't have no mariachi program. They didn't have no program before I went in, into that school. So the parents, uh, the majority of the tallest own parents are from Mexico. And so it's their culture. They love that sound. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's their culture. And I wanted to connect the kids with the culture. Now, uh, I didn't know anything about mariachi. Uh, back then, I'm from Puerto Rico, and we play salsa merengue. So I started studying how to uh, play mariachi and all the styles of mariachi. And I started the mariachi program, and it had been amazing. Uh, I'm sorry, you started, an, you learned an entire <laughs> genre of music just to connect to your kids more. Instead of like just having them connect with the music that you already knew, which was several different genres, by the way, that's an amazing teacher. <laughs> like, that's a lot of work. Yeah, I love that you're like, so I picked up mariachi just because it was Tuesday. So, so tell me about the impact of your program. You, you learning that and you really diving into their culture and their family's culture and getting them, the, the parents, more interested in the kids. Like, how has that made an impact on their lives, you think? Well, they, they could relate with their grandparents. They could say when they go over to Mexico to meet uh, their parents, mm. uh, the grandparents' parents, because some of them, they have not met their parents because they're here and their mm. parents are in Mexico. So uh, they were very little when they came into the United States. And they told yeah. me when they go over there, they have something to connect with their parents. Yeah. And with their grandparents, they're able to talk about uh, a music, a style of music that they understand. And many people ask me, can you tell me what is mariachi? I say, well, mariachi is like a melting pot and you throw a whole bunch of different styles of music there, a little bit of classical, a little bit of everything. And you mix that and you get that, that mariachi sound. And there's so many different styles within the within mariachi, mariachi itself. within mariachi yeah and it's a, a way for the kids to connect to the culture because in every culture we know that music is if you go anywhere it's in a universal language when i first came in to the united states i didn't know the language but i went into the band room and right there i was able to connect to everybody and have a family and through music we create 
And that's family. important because then it creates confidence in kids. It creates some kind of security that wasn't there maybe before. Correctly. Yeah. Did y'all have like teachers or art, like any kind of people in your life that really pushed you in your, your direction? I just have to say, my first tattoo that I ever got is right here. I'm not going to put you through seeing it, but mm. first time I ever got inked, it says music changes everything. And you're a walking example of that. You're changing Thank so you. many yeah. people. I, I had some really great examples for me and teachers that really helped and push me in music and in singing and, and instilled that confidence. Did y'all have that? Yeah, I mean, I went to performing arts high school and college. Oh, wow. and That's all, I mean, I've seen how the arts and how teachers like you can change lives. It changed my life. And I've seen so many kids change because of it. So thank you. I mean, thank you're you. really like saving these kids' lives sometimes. And changing their paths. Absolutely. Like, yeah. I've seen kids that were come from households that are terrible and get into the arts and then they excel and they're able to change their paths. It changes everything for them. Like you said, it changes everything. It does. I agree with you. I think it does yes, change it everything. Um, you have a motto, right, for your students? Like in life, right? What's yes. your motto? Achieving excellence. And I give them that, that motto because I believe that every kid is capable of success. I love that you're instilling that in your kids because anyone can do anything. And I am a big believer in that because I was one of those kids. So we have a surprise for Mr. Casillas, though. Oh, boy. One of his former <laughs> students is here and has something special to tell him. Come on out, Hannah. See, you look great. I love your jean skirt. Get it? Thank you. Um, so what would you like to tell Mr. Casillas? You know, it all started in sixth grade where my parents just wanted me to start mariachi. And I kept saying no because at first I didn't really see a point in learning music. And they kept insisting and insisting. And my dad said, well, just go and you can learn guitar so you can teach me. And that just got me there. And the first day, I was really shy, timid. I didn't speak to anyone because I didn't know anybody there. I remember that. <laughs> and I just saw you moving everywhere to all the students to just say your introduction and would help them along the way. And you just really brought me out of my shell with music. And you have taught me so many things. like. Because of you, I've learned five instruments and counting. And thank you. I don't know, like, wow. That's incredible. Thank you. She's yeah. a great singer. You got to hear okay, her. OK, so wait. So that's another instrument. <laughs> then it's six. You sing as well. She's the main singer that, that we have for the past three years. She competed in uh, Tucson International Mariachi Conference, won the first place in about 2006. <laughs> She's not talking about her. She's amazing. I'm like, okay, humble pie. Like, you're like five instruments and singing. I can't wait to hear your record. Like, you should play everything and sing. <laughs> but the, isn't it, do you feel like you would have gotten there, achieved all of what you have by now without having, because I had choir directors that were really, really helpful for me and really guided me to where I, I am today, even though it was opera music and it wasn't anything, like you might not do mariachi, or mariachi but I, I'm not doing opera, but all of that really pushed me to where I am today. Do you feel like what he's done for you is the same? Um, yes, because every day ever since then, you've given more than 300%. You are just a ball of energy to every student. <laughs> and I just feel like you come into the classroom with a mindset saying, I will and I can teach these kids, and I won't stop until I do so. Thank you. That's so cool. Well, we have more people we, who want to share their deep appreciation for Mr. Casillas. Look at this. Hello, Kelly Clarkson. And Mr. Casillas is our mariachi teacher, and he's the best music teacher in the world. Oh,
I want to thank Mr. Casillas for always being there for us and being a good teacher. Thank you, Mr. Casillas, for pushing me forward every day. Thanks to him, I feel more confident in myself. He has encouraged me to help other people. He never gives up on us no matter how many times we mess up. He is preparing me for a better future. Thank you, Mr. Casillas, for your dedication, and he really encouraged all of us to become better musicians. Thank, thank you, Mr. Casillas. Thank you so much. Pero mi corazón. I think it's so sweet. Like, look at all those little lives you're changing. One's right here. Like, that's such a, people don't realize, and this is why I get so upset about teachers' pay, because you don't realize, like, how just instrumental, like, great teachers are in kids' lives. And you're one of them. That's amazing. Thank you. Look at all those little lives you're changing. Thank you. How does that make you feel? <laughs> it's, it's like a dream come true, and sometimes, you know, uh, you make it to your dream and you get tired and like any human. And mm -hmm. uh, you have sometimes I got to remember, wow, this was my dream to become a teacher. And you make it to where you are and, and then uh, you don't want to get up in the morning. And that's one of the things I, I was remember. This was my dream. I'm on my dream now. So let me get up and keep walking. Well, you are truly a gift. They're very lucky to have someone like you that cares that much. And learns completely different genres of music just to connect. <laughs> That's amazing. And this is a surprise because I didn't know Hannah was going to be here. Then I look over there and I see my superintendent sitting over there ah. too. I didn't know. They, and the principal and my superintendent. Everyone's here to support you. Wow. <laughs> well, um, we've hit Mr. Casillas with a couple of surprises, but we have one more. So Tiffany Kearns from the Country Music Association Foundation is in our audience to share the news. Tiffany, you want to tell Mr. Casillas why you're here? Hello. Um, so as you know, we are committed at the CMA Foundation in making sure that every student in our country has access to music education. And after visiting your classroom and seeing the incredible work that you do, um, I am thrilled to be sharing some great news. Uh, you are a music teacher of excellence. We know that if we're going to reach our students, we have got to invest in our teachers. And so we are going to gift you with $5,000, $2,500. $2,500 as a bonus to you, use however you would like, but it's, it is our way of saying thank you for all of the hard work that you do. We are witnessing that firsthand. Um, and then $2,500 that we're going to give directly to your classroom. And I have to give a fun fact. So Billy Ray, you performed at CMA Fest in June. Yeah. Proceeds from that festival are is what, is what is giving us the ability to give oh, Mr. Yeah. Wow. That's so cool, that connection. I know, it's amazing. That's such a cool thing, how it tied in. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Please don't make me keep going.